<coughs> okay, so this is a video request from Kelly from Troy Young's uh, Inkscape Facebook page. And she had traced this cute little image of a dog. And she, I think she used PIC SVG, which did a pretty good job, but she had a few issues that she needed to, to know how to take care of. So if I zoom in, I'm using the plus key on the keyboard, you can see that here in the tongue, uh, there's some paths that didn't get closed, and also down here in the collar. So if you were going to fill this in with color, um, you would want those paths to be closed. And then also this trace, you can see it has a lot of jagged edges, and we can smooth those out using Inkscape also and make a couple other little adjustments to make it cut better. So plus again to zoom in. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Bezier tool, and I'm going to click here, click and drag to curve it, and then press Enter. And that made a line. You can't see it because I've got my fill color set to nothing. And I've got my stroke set to, to no color. So if I hold down the shift key and click on this black box here, that fills the stroke. And you still can't see it because my stroke is too thin. So I'm going to press control shift F to bring up the fill box. And you can see my stroke style is set to zero. So we're going to change that to 0.5. No, way too big. 0.05. That looks pretty good. Okay, it's not perfect, but we're going to go ahead and do the next step, and then we'll fix it. So right now you can see I'm on the, if I click on the node tool, you can see that this just has two nodes. It's a stroke. It's not a path. Um, to do what we want to do next, we need to change this to a path. So we go up to path, stroke to path. Now you can see it changed it. Um, it's a path, and it's got nodes all around the outside of it. Okay. I'm going to click on the space bar to get back to the selector tool. And then I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole dog. Then I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the rest of the dog. So I've got both that little line selected and the dog. And I'm going to press control shift plus, which is the same as path union, to join that little line that we just drew to the rest of the dog. So if I zoom back in, now you can see if I click right there, that's not an object anymore. It's joined to the rest. His tongue look, looks kind of uneven and jagged here, so what we can do is we can select some of these nodes and just say delete and move it around a little, and we'll fix some of this jaggedness um, in the next step as well. So now let's just go ahead and fill in some of these other gaps. This one here. Okay, path, stroke to path, and control shift plus to join it in. And here we can delete a few nodes to smooth it out. And then here, okay, path, stroke to path, selector tool, select both items, control shift plus, okay. And then you can delete a few nodes. Kind of made that one wonky. You can fix it. I'm going to turn my snap tools off because it's snapping things where I don't want them to go. That's just right up here to turn those off. Um, right here's a little gap. Stroke to path. Selector tool. Select both. Control shift plus. Okay. Here's another thing that there's no need to have this little open circle here, so we can just select those and delete. Um, I don't know if there's any more. If you're doing something like this, you can go through it with a fine tooth comb and, and see if there's any other um, gaps that you need to get rid of. Okay, so now we want to smooth this out, and this is Inkscape 0.92. It's got a cool feature. If we want to smooth this, um, simplify it. If you also, if you look and see, this has 661 nodes. And a part of that is because of these jagged areas. Um, everywhere there's a little 
jag and bump, it's got, you know, a cluster of nodes there. So we're going to simplify this and make it easier to cut and make it look smoother. So if we go to path, with the object selected, go to path, path effects, and here our path effect menu pops up. We're going to click on the plus to add a path effect, and then we're going to go get down and find simplify, which is right here. Add simplify. Okay, so it added simplify to our path effects, and you can see there's some um, parameters you can change here. It has simplified it now at 0 .002, and it looks a little weird. I think it's too simplified, so, but we can change this roughly threshold. Uh, the smaller you make it, the less it simplifies. So that has got it simplified. If I change it to 0 .001, it's simplified it to 293 nodes, okay? If we go a little further, 0 0.0009, enter, and that's got it down to 307 nodes, so it's a little less simplified, and I think that looks pretty good. So now, if you'll notice, I click on the node tool and zoom in. There's all these weird blue, um, circles and squares and stuff, and that's because this simplify is not, has not been applied to the image yet. That was just for you to test it out. It's sort of an overlay. To get that applied to the image, we just go to path, object to path, and that applies our simplification to the path that we had. And then, f you know, if you want to go in, like here's a little jagged part here, I can click on that node and click up here to make selected nodes auto smooth and that kind of smooths it out and I can drag it so there's not that little jag there same here I can click on that node and auto smooth and that looks a lot better in my opinion and you can go through and you know some of them aren't going to uh, make a difference and, and it's just sort of a personal preference let me get rid of that guy so there you go, that's, that's cleaned up this image and that's going to be pretty good for cutting and um, I hope that helped um, with this cute little dog.